beautiful fart face babies. Today we're going to be opening up this box from the Black Needle Society. I was like, where is it from again? Uh, welcome. I'm doing a floss tube today. I mean, or a floss tube extra, whatever you want to call it, literally. It's going to be about cross stitch. So if you don't like cross stitch, I'm sorry, but I'm very excited to see what's inside of this box. This is the murder mystery box from the Black Needle Society. It's a mystery box and uh, the event has already started and I haven't even opened the box yet. Literally, I think it started this weekend and there's a murder mystery and you have to solve who the murderer is, but I, I, I honestly haven't opened the box yet. So let's get into it. So first, when you open it up, we have Novels and Needles Murder Mystery. Participating, so it's basically a, I don't know if this is called a retreat. Okay, so it, it starts on May 1st. Okay, good, because I thought I was so behind. It starts on May 1st. I'm not going to look to see what's inside of the box. Um, okay. Yeah, it starts May 1st. Okay. So then we have an evidence bag. Excuse me. A big bag of evidence. Ooh, murder mystery-ish. So let's see what we have inside this box. You have a spoon. You have just been poisoned. That's really cute. Um, I will actually use this for cooking. Can I use this for cooking? I'm going to use it for cooking or hitting someone with. Do you ever get hit as a child with a wooden spoon? Probably not. Probably not. But there's the wooden spoon in here. Then we have... Mrs. McCarthy's award-winning strawberry scone mix. Okay, you just need nine, nine, tables, nine tablespoons of butter, two eggs, and a third cup of milk. Nine tablespoons of butter. I don't think, I don't think this will match my, my nutrition plan, but I, I actually will want to make these. Interesting. So we have some scone mix. I love the image on the front, little pearl necklace for the lady. What else do we have in here? And then we have some jam, sweet strawberry preserves from Jocelyn and Co. So that'll be nice, a nice little treat for yourself. Mix up some scones with the wooden spoon and poison someone, okay. Then we have, oh look, a little stitch uh, floss. Floss ring thing. Floss ring? Floss ring thing. You can tell I'm really into cross stitch. No. Um, it, oh, it has a little spoon and a key that says Baker Street. Oh, it's not a spoon. <laughs> it's a magnifying glass, guys. Literally, what am I talking about? So I thought that thing was a spoon, but it's a magnifying glass and there's a book and then, is it a, yeah, it's a, book and it says elementary and then it's like a key book key book so that's interesting and this opens up so you can put your your floss floss on it and let's see what else we have in here i really like that actually whoa we have a project bag oh my god i'm so excited for this a giant project bag Black Needle Private Detective Services Special Investigation File. Confidential. Wow, this is really nice. And it's a good size. Like, it's a big baby. I like this. Feels like there's something inside. So let's see what's inside. We have, ooh, we have some email printouts from the murder. We have a record of interview. Voluntary statement form. A whole bunch of evidence. So that makes sense. There's evidence inside this bag. And then there's also thinking of you. Oh my God. Thinking of you. Murderer. Murderer. <laughs> oh, that's, that's scary. Okay, I like this evidence bag or envelope. And I like how there's evidence inside 
or investigation stuff. I like it. It's like those manila folders. Yes, I do think that was the point of it. So yeah, that's really cool. Then we have a candle clue. Lady Peacock. Interesting. Uh, eight ounce soy wax candle hand poured by Wick Wish in collaboration with artist Sarah Johnson. Blackberry, burg raspberry, burgundy rose, dark vanilla bean, roasted marshmallow, smoldering woods. That's a lot of scents for one candle. I'm not a candle person, but this smells good. Yeah, can confirm this candle smells really good. If you're into candles, this might be your thing. This might be your thing. What else do we have in here? We have, okay, we have some floss from Be Stitch Me, hand dyed fabrics and silks. We have wine. Ooh, this is really nice. Poinsettia. We have red velvet. And we have wine. I like these colors. Look at these colors together. That's so pretty. These are really nice. Oh my goodness. I'm excited. All right. I usually leave cross stitching for when Clayton's here because then I can sit on the couch and cross stitch and then I diamond paint while he's not here. Then we have a Retreat in the Box exclusive. I really like the bag design. I actually have this scissor, this scissor pattern on a scarf. I bought one of the Black Needle Society's past box scarves because I like the scissors. And it looks like it's a stitch minder or a needle minder. Sorry, not a stitch minder. The impossible could not have happened and therefore the impossible must be possible in spite of appearances. Hmm. Nice little needle minder. If you're into diamond painting, you can also use it as a cover minder. Then we have Use Your Little Gray Cells Mo Monami. Use Your Little Gray Cells. Oh, these are floss cards. I'm going to, should I open these? Yeah, let's open these. Mm. Have scissors when you open a Black Needle Society box. Okay. Ooh, these are all different. Okay, so we have all a whole bunch of different floss cards. We have that one. This one. And they have different quotes from mystery writers, I believe. This one's really pretty. That one, and I think this is the last, nope. Did I already show these? I think that's the end, yeah. So these are really cool. They have different quotes from murder mysteries. Sherlock Holmes, etc. Okay, then we have another bag of evidence. Woo! What's inside here? Whoa, what is this? Okay, so we have a bunch of little safety pins. And then we have floss cards. So you can keep your floss on these. I don't know if these things are called, if I'm calling them the right things or not. Literally, you guys will have to let me know in the comments down below because I did not know. So that's interesting. I like how everything is themed so well. And then, ooh, we have, ew, like a specimen bag. Ew. Ew. Look how cool this is wrapped. Evidence bag. <laughs> this reminds me of those bags where you pee in the cup and then you have to put it inside of the bag. We have a pen. Is it a pen? We have a pen with a light on the end. Ooh, ew! Is it to like, it's like a, a green or a blue light 
to see things. Does it, oh, maybe it does something with the fabric. So this is evidence number and then 16 count Ada died by Jody. Do not wash. Do not wash. Okay, don't wash it. Interesting. This is beautiful. It looks a lot darker on screen, but this is really nice. Okay, let's do the pen test. Oops, if I had the pen in the right position. So we're going to do the pen test. Ooh, there's blood splatter on it. That's really cool. So when you hold the pen up, you, you can't tell on the video, but when you hold the pen up with the light to the fabric, there's actually blood splatter on it. That's really cool. I mean, I'm hoping that it's blood splatter and not something else. Hmm. Should I bring that pen with me when I stay in a hotel room and look at the bed? Hmm. Probably not. No, please don't do that. I won't do that. So that's really cool. I like that fabric a lot, actually really nice and then last but not least there's lots of like this fluffy brown stuff last but not least we have our pattern I can get to it our pattern is pretty stuck inside here okay then we have our pattern, which is going to be, must be possible. That's exciting! Look how pretty it looks when you're done it. Beautiful. It was a collaboration with Kristen De Palma of KDP Letter Designs. And Kristen is a lettering artist in Halifax, Nova Scotia. And then inside we have the pattern, which I'm not going to show. That's really nice. I think that's so beautiful. It's going to take a long time to stitch, though. Do I need another whip, guys? Do I need another whip? We'll see. Okay, so let's put this stuff on the ground, and then we'll read that little book that came with it. The photo challenge begins May 1st, and you... It participate in this photo challenge on Instagram and use the hashtag to be entered to win a $25 gift Etsy gift card. That's not bad. And inside it has everything inside of the box listed out with a description and where it's from or who made it. So that's really cool. A little hello, welcome. And I'm excited. I already missed the April 23rd call. The April 23rd call was a sti six hour stitching event where, you're, where you'll have the opportunity to question each of the sus sub suspects during a stitch and chat, which I missed. That makes me kind of sad that I missed it, but we'll see what else is happening with this murder mystery from Black Needle Society. This box cost around $130 Canadian, I believe. I believe. I think it was like $80 Canadian plus like 30 shipping or something like that 40 shipping i don't know i don't know how much this box costs but i think it was well worth it like this is my first black needle society box and i was i'm very excited to have it i was very excited to receive it too like i don't know how i held on to it for so long without opening it but yeah this is really cool like i really love the project bag and i love the evidence that's inside of it like literally like all these printed documents i'm gonna find out who the murderer is before anyone else just so you know just so you know let me know what you guys think of this box have you ever had a black needle society box before uh they release mystery boxes i don't know on a quarterly basis or is that subscription boxes anyways regardless go check out the black needle society i'll see you guys in my next video if you like diamond painting because my diamond my channel is primarily diamond painting go ahead and click the subscribe button i do post floss tubes on wednesdays but i haven't posted one in a while because i have no finishes i have no finishes to share i have too many whips and no finishes so i'll see you guys in my next video bye